I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2017 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 12. In my channel, I am to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 12. So this is question 12 over here, and this question is testing us on the concept of gap and difference. So let's read the question first. The figure shows two stacks of identical ice cream cones. There are three cones in the shorter stack and nine cones in the longer one. The length of the shorter stack is 14 cm and the length of the longer stack is 26 cm. So they are telling us that Ali wants to pack the ice cream cones as a single stack into a box half meter long. What is the most number of cones that he can pack into the box? Okay. So let's analyze the image over here. So this image starts off with this part, the, the first cone, okay? The first cone is the same. But then the rest, the first cone disappears, right? And then we are left with this part only, okay? So I'm analyzing the image, okay? So we are only left with this part. Okay, and then the, the same thing for this. Okay, applies to all. So let me just quickly do it. Okay. So all of them got this. So now that we read the question and analyzed the figure, let's highlight the key information. Okay. So the figure shows two stacks of identical ice cream cones. So all of the ice cream cones are the same. There are three cones in the shorter stack. So one, two, three. So there's one cone, two cones, and three cones, okay? So next. And there are nine cones in the longer one. So there's nine cones in the longer one. The length of the shorter stack is 14 cm and the length of the longer stack is 26 cm. So they are telling us Ali wants to pair ice cream cones as a single stack half meter long. So what is the most number of cones he can pack into the box? Okay. So this is the question, then the key information. So now let's move on to solving the question. So the question over here, right? Over here, we need to find all of these small, small areas because it is really hard for us to find the, the first cone, right? Because we don't have as much as information. So first, I'm just going to play around with the information I have. So most of you would just anyhow do 26 cm minus 14 cm, right? But after this, you don't understand what to do. Okay, so there is a logic doing big. There is a logic behind doing this. So basically, when you're taking 26 cm minus 14 cm, right? See this line over here? Okay, let me draw it for you. So this line, right, is being cut. So all of this, it is gone. But this is the remainder here. <laughs> remainder. Okay? So... 26 minus 14 is equal to 12, right? So 12 basically means one of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 of this. So this is where I'm going to take 12 divided by 6 in order to find each length, okay? Let me erase it so it can be easier for you to see. So in order to find each line, I'm going to take 12 divided by 6 of these. So basically going to give me 6 gaps, which is 12, right? So 1 gap is 12 divided by 6, which will give us 2. So 1 of this it is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 here, and 2 here, and 2 here as well. Okay, let me erase the shaded area. Now it can be easier for you to see. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So one gap, it is two. Okay, so now is the part where we find the first cone, okay? The first cone is really hard to find. The first cone is really hard to find at the start, but not now, because 
now we got the information over here so in order to find the first cone we go either take 26 minus 2 2 2 2 2 2 all of these two so 26 minus 2 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so that's eight cones over here right minus the first cone so that's eight cones over here so it's i is either we take 26 minus 2 times 8 which is 10 cm or we take 14 minus 2 times 2 cones over here okay which will still give us 10 cm so the first cone it is 10 cm okay so the first cone over here let me draw it again the first cone over here it is 10 cm each okay so now it'll be easier for you to visualize so the first cone is always going to be 10 cm right so in the box the first cone is 10 cm the rest all is 2 cm so what is half a meter it's not in 20 it's not in cm right so if we make it into cm it will be easier for us to solve it so a meter is 100 cm right so 100 cm what is half of 100 cm it is basically 50 cm okay so half a meter is equal to 50 cm okay so in order to find the rest of the cones instead of the first cone the first cone is always constant which is 10 cm right so the first cone is 10 cm the rest is all 2 cm right so there's only one first cone the rest is all the same and half of it will disappear that is why it is 2 so i'm going to take 50 cm minus 10 because i'm going to take out the the first cone so i can find the rest of the 2 cms okay so you'll give me 40 cm so i can take 40 divided by 2 so you will give me 20 cones are inside the first cone so 20 cones right so there's 20 cones so i have to add back the first cone right so 20 plus 1 which will give me 21 so 21 is the answer for this question question 12 gap and difference okay so i hope you understand my explanation for this question and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye